x. So, so far we have discussed about the cyclic process. Now, if we observe this, it starts, process starts from A, it goes to B and C, it doesn't come to A. So, this process we are determining as a non-cyclic process. Here, the substance is taken through the process A, B, C here. Internal energy of the substance increases by 5000 joules. So, internal energy of the substance increases. So, du is a pass to increased value. This can be 5000 joules and heat of 2625, 2625 calories is given to the system. Calculate the value of the J here. So, first you have to find out that dW along AB process, AB is isobaric. So, AB process P into V2 minus V1 here. So, 200 kilo Pascal into 10 cube V2 minus V1 0 0.05 minus 0 0.02. So, directly I am writing 0 0.03 into meter cube. So, here 200 into 30. So, this can be 6000 joules. This is about that dW. Whereas, internal energy changes is given. It is increased by 5000. So, increased by that means du is a positive number. So, if you are taking this first law of thermodynamics, dQ is equal to dU plus dW. So, dU is equal to 5000, dW is equal to 6000. So, finally, what we are getting 11,000 joules. But in the question, he is given as heat is 2625 calories. So, previous, it is similar to the previous question. This can be 2625 calories. He is asking that J value, this, this can be 11,000 by 2625, this is joules per calorie, this is about the J value here. Next question. So, it is also a non-cyclic process. If you observe this, it starts from that A and passes to the B here. See here, A, the volume is 250 centimeter cube here, cc, and B, 100 cc here. Now, the process goes under compression here. Here, what is asking that, if the 70 calorie of the heat is extracted from the gas, so again, you recollect your assumptions, heat is extracted from the gas, so heat has to be negative and calculate the change in internal energy of the gas. So, here, dQ is equal du plus dW, here, once again, you recollect this, so gas, heat is taken from the system, dQ is equal to negative. So, dQ is equal 70 calories. So, this can be 70 into 4.2. So, this will be the value of the joules. Here, this here in solving the questions, you are taking that dQ is equal to negative. After that, you have to find out what is the change in the internal energy of the system. First, you have to find out the work done. So, how can you get this work done? If you are taking this AB process, the area occupied this volume axis. So, here AB here first from this one to this one you are taking this area and again this way. So, here what we are getting base is a 150 it is like a triangle of this plus that area of this particular rectangle area. So, this way you have to find out the work done and next if you substitute dq and is equal du plus dw you are getting this du, du is equal dq minus dw. Here that work done if you observe this here the gas is what happens that is a compression mode. So, dV is a negative. So, your dV has to be taken as d, dW has to be taken as negative. So, he, here also dQ is also the negative one. Next, another indicator diagram. So, far we discuss about the indicator diagram represented by the pressure and volume, but this indicator diagram is represented by the internal energy and this volume here. So, how to discuss these problems if you observe this? This is the process starting from that A, B here, next come to the B to C and C to D and D to A the process. So, it starts from the A, again ends at the point A. So, this process we are directly we are saying this, it is a cyclic process. So, here if you observe this volume of this 2 mole of an ideal gas, number of moles is given in a cyclic process A, B, C, D, A and temperature of the gas at B and C are 500 Kelvin. So, at the B, the temperature is 500 Kelvin, at the C is 300 Kelvin. Calculate the heat absorbed by the during this process. See, how can you find out the heat absorbed by the during process? Again, it starts with your first law of thermodynamics equation, dQ is equal to dU plus dW. 
for the cyclic process du is equal to zero in this question. So you have to find out dq is equal dw. But how can you find out this dw because it's not a PV diagram. It is a UV diagram. We cannot take that area acquired by this volume. Hence, we can take AB process. So here internal energy is a constant. Internal energy maintains constant. It is about when the temperature is maintained constant from A to B. So here it is a A to B process is a isothermal process and B to C is a volume remains constant. It is a isochoric process. So work done during this BC process is a zero. Again CD process it is about this isothermal process because here also internal energy remains constant. Again D to A is a isochoric process. So here also what happens that work done is a zero. So we have to, we are assumed to find out what is that heat absorbed by the gas during the process. So dQ is equal du plus dW. First we have to find out the work done. So work done dW is equal to work done during the process AB plus work done during the process BC plus and work done during the process CD and work done during the process DA. If you observe the BC process here what happens that volume remains constant and what next DA process it is also volume remains constant. So these are the two process about AB plus 0 plus work done by CD plus 0. How can you get this work done along that AB process? Here if you observe this this is the internal energy the graph this is the volume is a AB and so next one is CD here. This is the volume B1 and volume B2 here. If you observe this, A to B the temp internal energy remains constant. Here the temperature is constant. Whereas B to C what happens that volume remains constant. So work done during this process is 0. C D process again what happens that U E remains constant. So definitely temperature remains constant. Next D A process what happens that volume remains constant work done during the process is 0. So here in the question B is maintained at some temperature T1 that is about 500 Kelvin. If B is maintained at 500 Kelvin, definitely A has to be maintained at the 500 Kelvin. Next, C is maintained at 300 Kelvin. So, D is also maintained at same temperature 300 Kelvin. So, during this AB process, temperature remains constant. You can recollect that about the process, which process will have the same temperature that is isothermal process. So, how can you calculate work done A here? N or T ln v2 by v1 here. So number of moles in the question is given as 2 moles substitute the third value and I am taking the AB process. AB the temperature is 500 Kelvin ln v2. v2 is given in the question is given as 2 v0 by v1 is nothing but v1 here. This v2 is equal to 2 v0 it will be the v0. So this way you are getting the work done from the process A to B. Next work done to the C2D here N or T same ln V2 by V1 here the number of moles is same R is substituted 8.314 and the temperature is 300 here the ln V2 by V1 so final by initial so here from C to D C becomes the initial D becomes the final so you are taking that final V0 by 2 V0 by taking the calculations you can substitute the work done AB plus CD. So net work done we are getting. Anyway, it is a cyclic process. DQ is equal to DU plus DW. So DU is equal to 0. Whatever you are getting net work done, that can be equal to heat absorbed by the system. This is about cyclic process of different, different indicator diagrams. And one more the process in during the calculations. So we discuss about this different process like isothermal, isoboric, isochoric, adiabatic. One more process is called polytropic process. So in JE point of view, this process is also most important here. 
in adiabatic process what we are getting p v to the power of gamma is equal to constant this is about adiabatic process whereas in isothermal process what we are getting p v is equal to constant so here the power is 1 here the gamma atomicity yesterday we discussed about the gamma is equal to cp by cv that depends upon the atomicity other than gamma and 1 some other process like this pv to the power of some b is equal to constant so this b is neither equal to 1 nor b is neither equal to 1 nor gamma so this process what we are calling as polytropic process it is work done in the adiabatic process just now we discussed in the previous section nr delta t by 1 minus gamma here in the this is about the adiabatic process in the polytropic process same poly work done the terms are same nr delta t by 1 minus b here this b is the polytropic constant if we apply this work done in the polytropic process here in the first law of thermodynamics dq is equal to du plus dw here. So, if you are writing this n into c dt, this du what we are taking that n c v dt and dw we are taking n or dt by 1 minus b here. We know that c v is equal what is that r by gamma minus 1 into dt plus n or dt by 1 minus b here. So, from this n dt is a common for each and every term if you are taking c value that is a molar specific heat that is a <coughs> that is a c value is equal to r by gamma minus 1 plus r by 1 minus b. See if you observe this see one term one uh, one student he asked the question about that what is the dimensional formula for the theta if you observe this theta is the angle so for the numbers or angles they do not have any dimensional formulas ok we will conclude this molar specific c is equal to r by gamma minus 1 plus r by 1 minus b so, this is about polytropic process in the C here. So, today we discuss about that isothermal, adiabatic, isochoric process, polytropic process, work done in different different process we explained that. So, students you remember that how the process varied, how the work done is varied from the process to process in both cyclic process as well as non cyclic process that way if you have practiced this type of formulas, practice about the derivations, definitely we will score the mark.